Welcome to shoe science where we do science in a shoe. Hi, I am Guac and today we are going to make a lava lamp in my shoe. You probably already have all of these things laying around your house. You just need mineral oil, food coloring, Alka-Seltzer tabs, and then I found this little keychain and I'm going to see if I can put it in my shoe. I don't know. I think it'd be cute to have it floating around. And glitter. I will never forget glitter. Time to glue our kitty cat in the shoe. I swear I made sure this keychain would fit inside the shoe, so I don't know why all of a sudden it's not fitting, but it is not fitting. I had a bit of mild panic as I could not get it in, but then also could not get it out. Thankfully, I got it out. Since that failed, I'm gonna add these cute little charms I have. I don't know if you'll even be able to see them, but it's worth a shot. They at least make a cute noise. For my second fail of the experiment, I poured mineral oil everywhere. I lost my shoe science funnel, but I think this is definitely my sign to get a new one. Still looks pretty, so oh well. I really wanted a pink lava lamp, but the food coloring had other plans, so it definitely looks more red than pink. And if you can't tell, I am pouring this with extreme caution. No more spills today. Spoiler alert, it was not the last spill of the day. Yep, definitely red, not pink, but it's fine. We're gonna keep going. I am going to crush up some Alka-Seltzer tabs and dump them in. If you're thinking, hey, this lava lamp effect is kind of underwhelming, well, go home. It's a shoe, an Alka-Seltzer, okay? I'm trying my best. Shoe science, I think more like shoe philosophy. While things might not always work out, sometimes it still comes together in the end. Sorta. Especially since I slapped this nice filter on it and now the red actually kinda does look pink. And if you look really, really close, you can see the glitter floating around. And if you look even closer, you're gonna see me dump oil everywhere for a second time. <laughs> Would this really be shoe science with guac if I didn't spill something at least three times and mess it up pretty horribly? If you guys have any ideas or suggestions for what I should put in my shoe next, just let me know. I'm always down to cause more chaos. 